situated without hitting on anything. Yeah. Hi, Erin. <laughs> I'll leave this up like this. See if they're on screen. Can you get rid of that? Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Darlene. I have Hannah here with me again tonight. Hello, everyone. We'll just wait and see if there's a handful more that jump on. Um, so what's in front of you right now is basically the notes I made while I was prepping. Um, so that, one, I didn't forget, and two, I could put them on the screen. You guys can pause the video, take a screenshot, that kind of thing. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lori. Um, but I'll show you, I might not be able to show you because I didn't actually label them. Um, I made sure to, to label front and back of my packages, but, um, everything I do is on here anyway, um, including measurements, um, and that sort of thing. And, you know, where I scored and I'll walk you through it. It'll make more sense when we start going. Hi, Judy. Okay, so there's that. Um, what we're going to hopefully get accomplished tonight is um, building our flaps, matting our front and, front and back inside covers, and then we'll see where the night takes us. Um... I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with, um, so I call them altered paper clips. Some people call them um, hidden paper clips, uh, but I wanted to make some and incorporate some, and I'm not sure if everybody is familiar with that. So I'm hoping if we can get through um, kind of the assembly of our flaps and our matting and stuff then we can jump into the fun stuff of embellishing and making some extra things to go into our journal um, and help beef it up a bit hope everyone's had a good couple of weeks uh, that cold was something else so i've labeled like we discussed in the last video um I did do some prepping, and I think um, the consensus was that, it, I mean, it is going to save us some time. So I haven't done anything else to the journal um, since what I did on film last. Um, and so this is my back piece. So, like I said, I labeled them so I wouldn't confuse myself when I came here tonight. So we're, I'm just going to move the one, oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Just going to move the one out of the way so that we can work on one side. And then basically it's going to be the same, um, but I changed up the papers and such. The assembly itself will be the same, but reversed, if that makes any sense. Um, so not only have I cut, but I've scored where I needed to, I've inked where I needed to, um, and I've actually put the tape on where I needed to. Um, so... This is the Basil uh, Evening Surf. So uh, my notes in the beginning said you'll need four. So two front, two back. And then I made, um, I made the pocket with the Basil, where are you? Blossom, in the color Blossom. And, oh, this tripod's in the worst spot today. Um, and I made it, again, front and back. So, let's get started. Um, so I wasn't sure. I feel like I'm going to put them on the inside of this flap so that when it's opened, um, my spine, my nice spine piece here is exposed. So let me just pull my chair a little closer and try not to jiggle the screen here um i do need my tool oh it's right in front of me <laughs> and i do like the double-sided tape and i do like to 
uh, complement that with um, some art glitter glue just for security purposes. And we're going to need our bone folder. So I've had a couple of busy weeks myself. This is, oh, there we go. I thought it wasn't going to cooperate with me again. Just between work and everything else. Mm -hmm. All the non-fun stuff. This is, this is the fun stuff. And then we want to obviously put it on this flap, but not go over the score. We want it to be able to open both ways if we want it to. And I went over the score line a little bit at the end there, but that should be just fine. Let's test it out. Oh yeah. Burnish that in. Now this, I want to act as a flap. So we're going to stick it on in here and it will open twice for us, but we need to make sure we put this on first before we put this pocket on top. Um, it's going to be easier and it's going to help um, kind of hide this, this tab a bit here. Are we good with being in frame? Okay. Yeah. So I also, when I was doing my prepping, I also um, cut a lot of the fussy cuts out from the pages and got some journaling cards cut out just to see if, with my prepping, if it sped it up enough that we could start doing some embellishing tonight. So my trick here is I'm going to line it up to that score mark, just sitting just below it. And then I'm going to fold that flap over. Press very tightly. <laughs> now this basil paper is textured. Um, again, you don't have to use it. I thought the colors went well with the paper um, of the Asuka line, and that's why I decided to go with it. So, one, two, one, two. Can they see that? So there is our flippy flap. And I'm going to put the pocket on the front um, because it's quite a large pocket and there's potential to have quite a few stuff in there I'm actually going to face it so that the openings on the inside of the book so it's less likely to fall out so um, my directions say like I've scored it about a quarter of an inch all the way around I've taped it I've inked it. I've gotten it ready. Um, I did leave it this way. I was uncertain if I wanted to put a thumb notch in there or not. And I think I do. So. <laughs> and then I'll have to quickly re-ink. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just eyeballing the center. Um, if you want, you can absolutely measure that, but I'm using my vintage photo as I have throughout the rest of my journal here. There's that. Okay, so is this big enough? I personally, I'm just going to move the book out of the way for a minute. I like to prep my pocket. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but I have, um, cut the edges off so that, sorry if you can hear that. I think I'm getting a phone call. I apologize. Um, I've just corner notched out my edges so that it sits a little bit nicer, folds a little bit nicer. And, um, at the top here, you can't see it. It's nice and neat. So... <laughs> Take my bottom piece off entirely. Put 
press that in, press this in. I don't know if it's long enough, just barely. Take off all the tape and then put a little bit of glue around and then we'll get sticking that pocket in. And I did also cut um, the mats for the flaps and stuff too. So my, my plan um, with embellishing is that um, not only are we going to focus on the flaps, but we're going to focus on um, the pages of the journal as well. Um, I don't know if any of you are like have made a junk journal or have watched any videos of other people making junk journals, but um, pretty much once you get the bones of the journal in place, you can get lost with the embellishing part of the journal. Um, so I'm just lining this up and I purposely cut it a little bit small smaller than the blue flippy flap um, and that was just to make it that much more prominent that it was a pocket and you don't have to you can make it the exact same measurements um, so that it lines up perfectly um, but that's there we go so there is that now these are my mats so I might have actually been smart Okay, pocket piece for the flap, mats for the blue flaps. Okay, so I did actually in my notes earlier put the paper down. So you'll see these both have the same backs and they have different parts of that top page. This is Thoughts. Is there a question? No, the back of the one wasn't really in frame. Okay. So, same backs. So this is the paper thoughts. Yeah. Hi, Heather. And these are. this is the other side. So this is what I want to put here. I gotta move over a bit. I should have probably went up a little higher tonight. Um... <clears throat> That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so these are our mats here, and then my other blue mat is double flaps. Front, inside flap, flaps. Okay. Yes, and then my inside cover is um, the back of the, the delightful paper. So I'm assuming this is the delightful paper. I'm using the back and that's gonna be my mat. So I'm actually gonna put that down now and get it out of the way. Hi Lynn. Oh Sandy, do you prefer the making versus the decorating? Fair, fair. Um, I just find that there's so many um, working parts to a junk journal. <laughs> I think that's what I would call it. Um, there's tucks, flips, flaps, pockets, um, you know, the vellum papers, the, the, there's all kinds. And like when I say tucks, I mean, there's a bajillion different styles of tucks, right? Um, and that's kind of where the altered paper clips come in. So that's part of making that journal interactive, right? So moving parts is what I like to kind of refer them to. Um, you can hide little things. You can hide little notes for yourself, little memories, all of that stuff. So we are going to get that down and just... Make sure we press it real good. And single. Okay, so 
This is going here. This is Mm. This might be thoughts, and this might be rabbit hole. My notes are kind of confusing because it says inside one sided flap, and I have two written down, and then I have double flap. So maybe I was matting underneath this pocket and forgot I didn't need one. Didn't cut one. I only have three. Okay, so I'm going to put this here, get going. Just been busy. I'm not the only one in the house that has hobbies and getting everybody else to everything else and work and housework and pets and it's a lot going on and I made sure that I was nice and prepped for this video tonight so that we could see how much we can get done I do have the measurements on that paper as well based on the flaps that I've, I've made so and again the size of your flaps will be the same the only thing I messed up on was this inside spine piece, and that's because when I created the spine piece, I had sized my spine smaller, but I had talked about that in, in I think, the first or second video um, about making sure. And you don't have to follow my sizing. Like, you can, you can make your spine and your spine piece whatever size you prefer. You can make it so that only one book. You can make it bigger and make it three signatures. Totally up to you. And I might look for a cutoff piece and cover this blue because it's quite dominant. I do like it being um, the frame piece of these two, but I don't, I don't know if I like that huge transition there. So we'll see. Again, and that's all the little things we can do in between. Has anybody tried their hand at dyeing any paper? I'd love to know. I did try. I know we were talking about uh, colored teas and stuff. I don't know if I had the greatest one to try. Um, when it's brewed, I used my my typical eight tea bags. Um, it was hibiscus something or other. Um, it was a very dark blue in the pot. It was a very dark blue while it sat in the water, in the tea water. And when I ended up baking it and taking it out, it was a, a light tint, a very, very light tint. So I don't think that particular tea was perfect for dyeing, but I haven't tried my hand at anything mm -hmm. else yet. I really, really want to try the avocado because the, the pinks that you can get are stunning. So, one more mat here, and then we can fly right over to the back and start matting all of those. <clears throat> oh, you've dyed it for your kids' art projects? What a great idea. What did they make with it? If you don't mind me asking, Lynn, Linda, Linda, sorry, Lynn said hello right above you, so. <laughs> so. Okay, now, there's a few things that we can do with pages like this. Uh, my thinking was obviously we're going to store some goodies in the pocket, um, but I was also thinking of pictures, right? So you can um, print and cut and paste your pictures. There's the little, um, you know, Instax or the Canon printers. There's all kinds of stuff these days. I actually have some scrap pieces here. I wonder... So this is the bottom of Wander. 
and it's the other side of it. I think I might just rip this. I'm sorry, I was testing if it hear the buzzing in the background. Oh. Okay. Yeah, even if we have some blue that's uh, sticking out there. So, sorry, I think I was off camera there. I um, I just found a scrap piece that I didn't throw away because I don't throw any of it away ever. Um, might be a problem. Might not be. I guess it depends on my audience. Someone tried the avocado. I've used this flowers before. And they worked. I did avocado and got a gross brown. Oh. I think the key is to make sure there's no avocado yeah yeah I I believe in some of the videos I've watched Sandy that is definitely the case they're making a soldier's kit oh Linda that sounds amazing what if what a special touch for that project great idea um that's Part of the reason why I actually, I, I'm a huge fan, I think I've said this before, of the vintage look. Um, and not everybody is, and that's fine, but it's, I love the crinkle of the paper, I love the fact that it looks and feels older than it, it is. Um, I'm going to see... Yeah, okay... I gotta, I gotta shave some of this off because I don't want to go over either of these score lines here because then it'll be hard. Um, yeah, it'll be hard for our flap to move and we don't want to prevent that. So, again, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Grabbing my little craft knife. And it, I'm not trying to hide the blue entirely. You definitely can. You definitely don't have to. You might not use the blue on yours. So I just don't want it to be dramatic <laughs> in between there. So there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm happy with that. We're going to go with it. Just trying to get some glue on this little wiggly piece of paper here. Okay. Is that the cat again? No, that Oh. <laughs> I'm sitting on my uh, foot was going numb? No, I was sitting on my pants. Oh. I was trying to like pull my foot out, but I couldn't. There. So, again, personal preference. You can see some of the blue there. Um, I'm actually going to ink it a little bit. I didn't ink that edge. There. I, I, I'm liking the way that's coming out. I'm definitely going to um, embellish the front of the, the cover on the pocket. But let's flip right back over to the back. We're going to do the exact same thing, only in reverse. So, again, oh, hit that dang thing again. Um, we have our two blues, our pocket. Ah, uh, double-sided. So this might be... Okay, I was right. So I actually did do same, same, but different. So the one-sided flap is thoughts front and back. So the this is thoughts books. So I used this side on the front. I'm using this side on the back. And then for this side, I have used, I didn't write this one down. Uh, inside cover, okay. 
didn't write this one down. So that's funny. But this is what the back looks like. And this is the part I'm using. Um, let's just get right into it. So again, I'm going to put it on the inside and my flap will open this way now, right? Thank you, Corey. <laughs> what would I do without you girls having my back? Man, I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. We, um, we had an okay weekend. It was the 10 years for my dad passing on Saturday. Um, I think I mentioned that with the commemorative tattoo that a lot of us got. Uh, it was a good day. Family filled, can't complain. Other than that, didn't really get up to a whole lot on the weekend. Also tried some blueberries. Okay, yeah, that the gray blue is what happened with my tea, Sandy. And I feel the same way. I feel like if I would have had more patience and let it sit longer, it might have turned out a wee bit better. Um, and I do have some left, and I highly doubt I will ever get around to drinking it. So I'm definitely, definitely going to try it again. Okay, so now, again, like I said, same, same, but different. So we're going to stick this flap on. And then we can get matting and then we get rolling on to the next. Oh my god, let's flip this around. So we want to again line it up to the bottom of that score line. Not going over or it won't fold for us. Give it a press. We want to give it a press. There we go. Look at that. Now we can get our pocket on. And I'm going to. Um. Well, Linda, that's probably. You know they say you learn something new every day. That is definitely taking the cake for me today. Um, I don't think I will try that, but if you do, uh, let me know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to know the process, but I'd like to know if it works. That's, I don't know how that even, I don't even know how you fathom to get blue out of urine, but alrighty. So I had mentioned um, as well that I had grabbed some Country Craft Creations papers and created a reading journal. It's going very well. I'm on my sixth book. Um, I'm bringing it up because I have read Matthew McConaughey's Green Lights twice. And a friend of mine I recommended it to decided to listen to it on audio. Well, it's Mr. McConaughey that reads his book to you. I just finished it on audiobooks. <laughs> it is so good. It, it's like the book is even better with him reading what he's written because of his mannerisms and just the way he is. You don't even really need to be a fan of his work to enjoy his writing, in my opinion. Um, but I just thought I'd put it out in the universe. It's not, again, it's, a, it's an autobiography. Um, but it's almost, uh, it's helped me kind of be more self-aware. Um, it's not a self-help or anything like that. It's just kind of made me be a little bit more self-aware. So if you're into that stuff, definitely check it out. It's, it is a phenomenal, phenomenal listen. It is a great read too, but the, the audio was definitely, definitely great. Definitely a huge fan. Okay. Hmm. 
You have it on your shelf, but haven't started it. Ooh, it is great. I, I don't know. I, I have a, another friend that um, wasn't into it. Said he's gonna give it another shot on the audiobook, um, just because of the difference in kind of what you're getting, I guess. But okay, this is looking great. Okay, I want to make sure that I put these the right way. Yep, okay, so my crest is facing up. So this is going to be the mat here. And I went with um, a funner print on the front. I don't know if you guys have noticed on both front and back. And then something a little bit more um, coverable with pictures, I guess. That's my intentions for the flaps. Again, can be used for absolutely anything. You don't even have to make flaps in yours if you don't want to. way here. how the paper is laid out I didn't cut anything out of the sections both on this one and that front cover mat um, because I liked the way that the bottoms matched up again personal preference and you don't have to follow the matting that I've chosen either there are almost too many options with these beautiful 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 paper lines that it was a struggle and I'm glad that I decided to prep um, you know, earlier than the night before, which is usually my motto. I'm a procrastinator by heart. Um, I know this, and this time I got ahead of the game, and I feel great about it. Let's get this in. The other thing you can do, I forget who mentioned they like the creating and not the, the um, decorating. Hannah will find her for me. Um, the other thing you can do, um, and I have done, is what, uh, especially when I first got into this hobby, because you start to make a lot, and Sandy, you start to make a lot, and then you're like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with all these? And you start giving them away. Um, and what I notice is that sometimes the themes um, or the, uh, you know, the appeal of the journal that I was trying to accomplish isn't always everybody's favorite. So um, you can create the book and the guts, right? Like your signature with your plain paper of whatever kind, um, white, grid, tea dyed, what have you. Um, and then you can cut out or um, make little packages uh, and send it along with their journal so that they can do the decorating and the embellishing and kind of put their own touch on their personal album or journal. It can be done, Katie, but I haven't tried to prep early. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, I, I tonight is living proof. I was ready for this video last week. Um, I can't promise that will ever happen again, but it happened this time and I'm extremely happy with myself. Sorry, I needed a little sip of coffee there. Yes, Linda, me too. That's why I did that. So I did that on this one as well. So I didn't cut, I'm sure you can tell, I didn't cut anything out in between. 
Um, this is a little bit more dramatic of an effect in terms of seeing that it's separated, um, but I liked the running on of the two pages. And who knows, I might choose not to ever, um, not to ever put anything on here. And that was my other thing. You can also go this way. So this is yours to do as you wish. These are all just ideas and inspiration. Um, I know a lot of us, when we're doing the Lucy's, we, you know, we take the idea, we watch the video and then we put our own spin on it. And that's, that's what crafting is all about. In my opinion, that's the fun part, right? I'm trying to find another little scrap. I know I saved a bunch, but if I move behind me, I'm going to knock. Actually, I like that. It's a good contrast with our uh, foggy paper, frosted paper. <laughs> Let's just do a little thing. So this is rabbit holes. So that is rabbit hole. I was right. The, the front cover flap, inside flaps. And I'm going to tear off the uh, back side of it. Um, gay, okay, I actually, <laughs> this question came up, I think, in my first video. Um, it's not a craft supply. I'm going to get a big, big tap on the wrist from Heather on that. Um, it is, it's a hilarious story. Um, my husband bought interior LED lights for his truck. Oh, and oh perfect okay and uh <laughs> this is the this is the apparatus that came with it to press them into um the trim and the dash and all that stuff and him being him and knowing my love of all things crafty thought it was i could use it and he was 100 percent accurate on that so I'm going to shave this first diamond line off because I don't want to cover my scores. We also have another question. We have another question. I like the books. Is that what they are? This page. Oh, yes, they are books. They are books. They do kind of look like that. And it is. Yeah, they do look like doors. And I have, I've actually saved some of the cutout part of it. Um, that is the same. So that is the back side of this, as you can tell. Um, and it is thoughts. So it's thoughts, front and back. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Just my little scrappy piece. That is not it. Uh oh. There it is. Just want to get some ink on this quick. Okay. I think I like the way that's looking. I think I might actually grunge it up a bit. Just rub some ink on that stark white. There we go. I'm just, this is a really finicky little piece. I'm just quickly throwing some dark glitter glue on it off camera so I can hold it better and the glue not go everywhere. I'm just going to open this up so I don't glue it by accident. A little bit over, but that's okay. That's mm -hmm. not long enough to make a huge difference. There we have her. So now I use the same inside mat as the front, just the other side of it. Because I loved the way, if you can see, I love the way that the writing comes on to the sides. So 
my thought was putting some pockets or something in here as well. I'm not sure I want to. I'm not sure I want to cover the paper yet. Um, but again, you don't have to use this as your mat, and you can totally customize your journal when you make it the way you want to. And I'm not sure. Like, um, has anybody started making one? Um, or are we waiting for the whole thing to kind of come together? Is there any questions or concerns with it? Any intimidation? All that kind of stuff I'd, I'd like to know. I'd like to help with if I can. Because um, our, our plan is to kind of jump into another one when this one wraps up and try different stuff, right? Different binding techniques, different everything. Show you all different ways that these can come together. Okay. I'm just going to interrupt for a second. Yep. If any of the people that are just watching and haven't been checking any of, any of the comments, um, there has been two links posted for a few of the tools that have been mentioned. mentioned. Perfect. Perfect. And we did get a comment about the progress of someone's. I went to the part where I sew in my two signatures. Yay, Cindy! Please, please, please share it with the group um, when you're finished. I would love, I would absolutely love to see your take on it. Okay, so matting is done. Now, what I wanted to jump into, so we're going to embellish. We're going to do a lot of embellish, not a lot, but I want to show you a, a couple of little tips and tricks. So what I'm going to do quickly, I haven't started this one, but I'd, I'd Liked watching you make yours. Thanks, Sandy. I appreciate that. Um, it's yeah. I mean, because everything is from scratch, um, it it can take a little longer than you know putting together a folio. But you don't have to make them as big as I've made them either. Um, I do have smaller ones. I think I've shown you. Can you see that one right on top? Yep. Um, so this is, I call it a soft cover. Um, all it is is cardstock and Tyvek. And it's a traveler's notebook style. So I can, I, I made all these signatures, mm -hmm. but instead of having to sew them in, um, it's elastic. And I can pull them out when it's finished and make new ones to go inside there. So, and obviously size-wise, much smaller. So again, all kinds of options. We're going to go through a whole bunch of things, hopefully, um, if you guys love me enough to keep me around. You think you missed the sewing part. Uh, we sewed in... I can check that first. Okay, Hannah's going to check. But I believe, I believe we sewed the signatures in in two different videos. So we did the signature one at one, like, say video two maybe? or three, and then we did signature, f the second signature last week, last, last video. So I think three and four, maybe, um, I could be wrong, but we've got our matting done and, um, I want to show you, I love the look. I love this look, um, of a big chunky journal. Now you have to be careful because if you get too chunky and too full, it's going to alligator mouth. Um, but some people also like that. So, um, because I love the aesthetic of the way that this looks, I actually like to trim out my edges. So it's, it is embellishing. It's of absolutely, um, no useful value. It's all decoration from this point on, um, in terms of what I'm about to show you. I'm just trying to find, I think. Okay. I think I'd mentioned I have an Alice box, so I got some stuff behind me I want to grab here. Where? 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 Trying to find. The lovely ribbon we did 
in the tea dye video. It's gotta be somewhere. Oh, right in front of Hannah. Look at that. Which one? All of them. Just pass them all to me. No, I don't need the paper. Just need the, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So these were the ribbons, uh, or sorry, the, the lace that I decided to dye while doing that paper video. So now we're going to utilize some of this um, to show some prettiness. Well, let's skip a page because let's put it here. So I'm going to put this right in my book, right in my book. Let's measure that again. For the uh, sewing part, the it was a bit in number three, but it's mostly in uh, like the ending of number four. A bit in numbers. Okay, so the binding of the books. Um, like this part, right? Yes. Yeah, that's number four. Okay, so the majority of the sewing seems to have d happened in video four. So the the video a couple weeks ago. I think the date was January 24th. Jan yes, it was January 24th. So I'm going to add this here on the edge of my paper with my art glitter glue. Now, one thing, um, and I, you can sew, you can sew this into your papers. Um, it's just something you want to do before sewing the whole signature together and into your books because you aren't going to be able to to get it in your sewing machine. I, I promise you that. I do have a sewing machine, but I'm not set up to bring you over to it with me right now. So we're gonna save that for another day. But we're gonna let this dry too, and you have to be careful when doing this part that you're not sticking your pages together. Um, and you'll notice that now that gives it some weight. So we're gonna flip a couple more. Um, Maybe this white page. I'm going to, this is a velvety blue trim. I'm going to put it down this side. Thank you, Sandy. I absolutely love making the TNN style. Um, girls, give me your feedback. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, because the TNN we can fly through. I can, I can make one personally, um, in an afternoon from start to finish. So, um, obviously it will still be sectioned off in terms of our lives, but it'll be a quicker video. And, uh, the benefit to that is it is something durable enough to, you can throw it in your purse um, and then when you finish a notebook, a signature up, you can literally make yourself a new one within, you know, 15, 20 minutes tops and you're putting a new notebook in your TNN and you're off to the races. So, so I'm putting this blue trim in, I'm, um, hanging it off the edge just a smidgen, making sure. I don't have any glue sticking out. Okay, I'm going to jump into the next signature, signature number two. What strength of needle do you use to sew your paper? I've been trying and my needle bends all the time. Okay, so uh, Cindy, with your needles, a standard sewing needle for clothing won't cut it. Um, you will bend it. I'm surprised one hasn't gone through your finger yet. You need, um, it's either a darning needle or a book binding needle. Heather, can you help me out? I feel like I've seen them in the store. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can show you what one looks like. I've had mine for for quite a while, but... And they do come in different sizes. So um, with the, the TNN, because it's a soft cover, I don't need to use one um, this large. But for heavier books, um, especially if you want to show your binding on the outside of your spine, you need a bigger needle. 
So you'll see that there is a point. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm. No, you'll have to still put your whole hand yeah. for it to focus. So I'm trying to focus, but there is a point. It's just not nearly as sharp as um, a sewing needle. So I don't have any, but we will get some soon. The ones we're looking at are sent to the long. I don't know if that's too long. I will get shorter if Katie says so. Uh, I recommend getting shorter, Heather, um, only because it'll add to like a standard pamphlet stitch that we did in this book. Um, you're going three lengths appro approximately in your thread. So adding that plus your six inch needle, you'll be pulling a lot of stuff through those holes. Um, and I, I mean, I, I haven't worked with one, I can't speak to it. I can tell you that I don't know if I would want to personally. Again, personal preference. Perfect, Heather. Perfect. Sorry, I mean on your sewing machine. Oh, Cindy. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. I am very new to. <laughs> I'm very new to sewing paper. Um, I have. A Singer M1000 Amazon special um, it, it it doesn't say you can sew paper so again if y'all own sewing machines and you want to start sewing your paper be careful you also want to make sure that if you're not using any glues that will stick to the needle as it goes in and out that one that is one thing I do know um, and obviously the thickness. So I don't do, I don't sew anything. I would say, Cindy, I don't, I don't sew anything on my sewing machine, like paper crafting wise, probably over 60 pound cardstock. Um, yeah, if, if that, to be honest, again, because I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, I'm not sure what's going to happen to my machine. <laughs> This might be a little bit too long. No, it's perfect. Okay. So I'm trying to quickly show you some fun techniques. Um, this paper, this page is going to be a little tricky. Hannah, can you do me a huge favor? Yes. Can you go? Oh, wait, I have parchment paper here. Parchment paper should help. Um, so because this is very lacy and I've used a liquid glue, um, it will seep. So if you close your book and forget about it, you are not opening these two pages up. So I'm going to put this little piece here. I'm going to choke into another section of the book. <sighs> okay. This is one technique that, and my parchment fell. I'm going to have to figure out how to, can you grab me a clip from there? Yeah. Clip it together just so the parchment stays. Um, oh, did they don't stick to the parchment? Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Just now nah, the parchment will come out. It'd be kind of cool in a, in a way. Okay, so I want to show you this one. Uh, yellow or dark blue, Hannah? Dark blue. Okay. So this is um, Sorry Silk from Unique. I am obsessed with it. She has all different colors there. Um, I think I talked about it in one of the videos. You can crinkle it up. You can do all kinds of sort of fun stuff. I don't think I would do it on my sewing machine. I like you, I'm afraid of what will happen to it. Yeah. Yeah, Linda, I, again, I'm very careful. I've done uh, very minimal sewing uh, for that very reason. I did a test run when I first got it. I did uh, the edge of a paper bag journal um it was a tnn size but only one signature one use journal it's absolutely gorgeous i don't have it to show you i'm sorry <laughs> um i gave it to a friend so this i'm actually not going to cut and i'll show you why i'm not going to cut it so this is for all you ladies that don't have a sewing machine don't want to ruin your sewing machine this is the faux 
way of doing this look. So maybe I should use the yellow actually so they can see it better, Hannah. I don't know. I feel like there's no other yellow. There's lots of yellows. Yeah. Lots of yellows. Like there's, yellow. there's yellow roses right there. Like a deep yellow. Well, it's my journal, so. I know. I'm just <laughs> I want them to be able to see sure. the technique I'm using. Okay. So, we're going to start... Oh, we're going to cut this little turkey off. I do like that look, but not for this right now. Okay. So, a little bit of your glue up top. Place your ribbon. And then, going to throw a bunch of... <laughs> Uh, literally, these, these are my terms. I'm going to throw a bunch of glue on your ribbon. And you're going to fold it. Probably didn't have to go up that high, but... And then a bunch of glue. And fold it. Now, because this is sari silk and it's... Um, I'm using enough glue for it to seep. It should also be gluing it down to the paper as we go. So let me quickly get some more going here. And when we get to this part, now that it's overlapping itself, you are going to have to do underneath, bring it back down on top. Make your little twirly underneath for good measure up top and you can you can do this with your lace as well um, it's gonna give that faux look of the basically the the scrunched ribbon right um, without having to sew so this is one of my my tricks, my tricks, girls, showing you my tricks. Um, but then I want to show you, now this is going to be a little bit wet, but I still want to be quickly show you the, uh, the look of the edge, like the edges of your book. Once we get this and this doesn't like, you don't have to be, as you can tell by me, you don't have to be straight by any means. The, the crookier you are, in my opinion, the better looking it, it ends up being. So, and this is why I don't cut it, because I don't know how much I'm going to use at this stage yet. So, has anybody tried this? Has anybody seen this? I like trick. I like tricks too. So, there we go. Hold it a bit. I'm trying to give myself some more length here. And, and it is tedious. You don't have to do this by any means. Just showing. Just showing. And no value. This is pure decoration. Um, so for me, it's value, but it's just, it's going to look really nice not only when the book is closed um, and everything kind of comes together but once you get writing and decorating and pasting and doing what you your intentions are for your journals then it's just gonna add that much more flair to your page right okay now even if you're not into junk journaling, you're watching and supporting us, um, but you don't really want to make one. Before we wrap up tonight, I'm going to show you um, the when I had talked about the altered paper clips or the hidden paper clips, called both. Um, essentially, they're the same thing. So I'm going to show you how I've prepped mine, and if you and we'll make them on the next one while we finish up. Um, embellishing so our next video will be embellishing uh, a little bit more of the inside the covers the outside covers and then uh, figuring out a closure uh, for 
this beauty as well. So once I get to this point, I play with a little bit more and I usually don't um, like leave a tail or anything. I try to cut it as close to the length of that paper. Oh, sorry. It's a little awkward here. Length of that paper as possible. So there we go. So again, little trick. So with this method, you want to be careful because it's sticky. It's a little sticky. And the thinner your ribbon or sari silk or lace is, um, so you can see how it's kind of coming along. Our edges, don't, minus that, that's just so my lace didn't um, stick out. But this is, this is what I'm talking about with giving your edges some texture. Um, this is why I do it. This is why I like the look of it. Um, I'm trying to find my blue. Oh, my blue's here. So that is that. I haven't seen this. Good trick. Let me post my books for everyone to see. Uh, Cindy, I would post them right on the unique page. Share with everybody. If you're comfortable with that, if you're not, um, you can private message us girls um, through Unique's Messenger. Um, thanks, Sandy. It is cute. Um, I like it. Again, if you're not comfortable with, you know, your sewing machine um, or don't have one, really. I mean, I, I literally only have had one for about six months. So this has always kind of been something I've done. So I'm just, I'm going to leave this open, I'm going to kind of pop it out of the way. Um, so next week, hidden paper clips, altered paper clips. This is what I've done to prep. If you want to build some with me. So what I've done, oop, that was almost the coffee. What I have done is, here's my little instruction book here. I have not only saved everything I've cut out uh, throughout the project, but I have also cut apart always tea time uh, front and back because I had two sheets. So I did cut both of those out. I cut apart uh, some of Wander and some of Adventure as well. So that's these beautiful pieces here. Can they see me? Yeah, they can yeah. see me. Um, so that's these, like, look at these pieces. So all I've done is cut. I have not um, inked or done anything else. This is my, this is what I'm going to use to, um, well, I'm going to use this stuff to do a lot of things. Look at, like, look at these little things. They're just the cutest. So those mm -hmm. are the kind of parts. And then... This was uh, one of them, right? The journaling cards. Um, the, they're just, they're so cute. So there are front and backs. Um, like I said, I had two, so I got to cut both and have and and try my hand. Um, and then this, these are the the other sheet. Um, so again, I have some ideas for these already. Like, look how cool this is. Can you guess what I'm going to make with that for the inside of my journal? If you guessed a mini journal, you are a hundred percent correct. <laughs> so, um, if you have the paper, if you're following along, if you want to, if you want to start at this step and get, uh, get involved, uh, maybe prep with me. So do your cutouts. And this is what I've done. I folded a piece of um, cardstock, white cardstock, doesn't matter what color it is. Um, and then I put my paper clips on top. So then I cut my paper the length and size of my paper clips. You can tell this one's jumbo. It's amazing. I love it. So the concept to a hidden ultra paper clip is you're literally covering and hiding and gluing on top of these 
paper clips on the white paper. So this is wax paper, so anything I'm gluing and doing is go not going to stick to anything. Once everything's said and done, you can literally pull it off and that becomes your clip. Now you can cut these edges off and it, it's up to you, but you're not gonna see any of that. We're gonna build these up and embellish them and these are gonna be your clips. They're gonna be personalized Alice in Wonderland themed paper clips. And they're not gonna know how they're working because they're hidden and I think they're the coolest thing. So I'll show you that too. And we'll use those to help embellish our books, hold our journal cards, um, tags, we might make some tags out of them, that kind of thing. So I'll leave this here one more time um, so that I said that you can stop the video, take a screenshot, that kind of thing. These are the notes that I made for what we did tonight on, on camera. Um, and then what we'll do, like I said, is we'll finish some embellishing inside and the outside so I know we've done some but uh, I have a couple of other pieces that I'd like to do um, maybe something here make it a little bit more prominent um, I did put the option for a dangle on I don't know um, but uh, yeah I, I think in our next hour we should be done and we should be maybe considering what we want to do next what we want to see next what you guys want to see from me next um, and I, I appreciate everybody coming tonight. Uh, I hope to see you the next time I'm up and we'll get this done together. And then once I complete it on our lives, I'm actually gonna bring it into the store so that it can stay there. Um, and when you visit, you can see it and touch it and hold it, go through it um, and see if it's something that you'll want, want to do. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. We want to see it all. Perfect. Perfect, Linda. Okay. So, um, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, uh, I'll leave that with my final thought tonight. If you're familiar with the junk journal world, let me know if you have any ideas on what you would, sorry, I just hit the pot again, um, on what you'd want to see, um, or we can make some decisions together next time, uh, we're on live. So, Thanks again, ladies. Have a wonderful evening. Um, I appreciate the support. I, I know Heather and Dan do as well, um, and the rest of the, the unique crew. And I will see you on my next one. Bye for now.